What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're looking at Team of the Week 15 predictions and this Team of the Week is looking absolutely insane. It is looking like a Team of the Week that could make a lot of people a serious amount of coins. But we're going to be starting off with the guy that beat Pele's all-time goal scoring record and it is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo grabbing himself two goals one assist and a 9.3 rating as well we're like three to four days into 2021 and he's already doing performances like this like the guy literally can't slow down how old is he you guys all know how old this guy is, and he's still performing at a very very high level but moving over to Harry Kane we already had two 90 plus players already boys like, this is serious. You can already tell how this team of the week is going to go. Harry Kane grabbed himself one goal, one assist, and an 8.8 .8 rating. Now, there's actually a lot of people, or a lot of players, that I say, that could actually end up getting a team of the week for Tottenham. You have Son, that also got himself a goal and assist. you got Hoiberg, which had an amazing performance. And you also have Alderweil, that got himself a goal. So it could be any of those four players. But for me, I feel like it will be, obviously, Harry Kane. Moving over to Lukaku. Now, Lukaku with the one goal, the one assist, and an 8.5 rating. Not grabbing man of the match. Martinez actually grabbed man of the match with a hat-trick. But the reason he's not in here is because he just previous previously had a team of the week. So, it's literally impossible to him to get back-to-back -back team of the weeks. Which means, most likely, it is obviously going to be Lukaku. Now, how good do I feel like this Lukaku card is going to be? Not that insane. The reason I say that is because his Rule Breakers card, I feel like, is the best Lukaku card that we're going to actually have in FIFA 21. They made that Lukaku card so, so good to the point where if this guy gets, like, what, another three or four informs, I doubt he will be even any better. Moving over to Zapata. Now, Zapata grabbed himself two goals, one assist, a 9.2 rating as well. The disappointing thing about Zapata is the fact that he doesn't have a lot of pace to his game. So, he doesn't obviously fit the, you know, the FIFA 21 meta in a way. But he's definitely a player that will most likely get used into, like, SBCs. I remember, I believe it was his 80, 86 in form card last year. My God, that card was literally getting bought just for SBCs. I think I used him, like, 20 or even 30 times. So looking at our first bronze in form in Team of the Week predictions, we are going to see Joseph take the stand. Three goals, a 9.6 rating. You really can't go against it. And I know for a fact, everyone that does the bronze pack method, you're probably rubbing your hand because you already know that this is like a guaranteed 10k plus if you actually do end up packing him. But looking over to Sancho. We all know we want this card in team of, the, team of the Week because he's a player that is so, so good in this game. But he's so underrated because I feel like not many people actually go ahead and buy the Record Breaker card. But I love the Record Breaker card. Now, he's got himself a goal, an assist, and an 8.8 .8 rating. Also, grabbing himself the man of the match. And he just looks incredible, doesn't he? Let's all be fair. The pace, the dribbling, the passing. Yes, 100%. He does need that shooting boost to his game. So, probably a Hunter will probably be the way to go so taking a look at the next play here we are going to see Asensio grabbing himself a goal an assist and an 8.6 rating as well now the interesting thing about this game was the fact that Lucas Vasquez also grabbed himself a goal and assist and also had an amazing performance but because Asensio had that little bit of a higher rating I feel like EA will end up probably giving it to Asensio now the thing I always find frustrating about Asensio is the fact that Real Madrid I believe mo most of the time do play him left wing so it's one of those occasions where, yeah, he might be really, really good in real life without a doubt. But then in actual FIFA 21, if we're talking about, he doesn't really fit the meta to play in that left wing position. So if you do end up getting this guy as like a player pick, you might actually want to end up playing him in that cam position because I feel like he will probably be much, much better there. So moving over to the next player here, we are going to see a compass. Now, a compass's card, by the way, is a really, really nice all-rounded card. Like the 84 pace, 84 dribbling, 86 physical, 80 passing with the 85 shooting. If this guy gets a few more informs, or let, let's say gets like a, a special card that EA end up giving him, 
he could be a very, very nice player. Like, he could be a serious player. One goal, one assist, an 8.8 .8 rating. Obviously, going to man of match performance as well. But what a performance for a compass. So, looking at our next guy here, we are going to see Phil Foden grabbing himself a goal, an assist, an 8.7 rating against Chelsea and a 3-1 victory over Chelsea. Now, there's two other players that could get it over Phil Foden. One being KDB, also grabbing himself a goal and assist. And it could also be Gundogan, scoring a single goal goal but just having an outstanding amazing performance all round but I feel like with Phil Foden having the highest rating I feel like EA will most likely give it to him so moving over to our first Liga NOS player we are going to see Rafa now this card right here just by looking at the card stats it could be a card that would be an absolutely insane super sub imagine getting this guy right here in your player picks imagine subbing this guy on in like the 75th minute and just telling him to run down the line or just run in like a striker position it would probably be absolutely insane he grabbed himself a goal an assist and an 8.9 rating while obviously grabbing a man of match performance as well so looking at the next guy, we are going to see Morales. Now, Morales actually had like a really nice card last year, but I can't remember what card it actually was. So if you guys do remember, let me know in the comment section. But he looks very nice. He looks like a player that if he gets a few more informs, let's say he goes up to like an 84 or maybe even an 85, he could be a serious player that could actually end up being in a lot of people's teams. He grabbed himself two goals, a single assist, and a 9.2 rating to top it off as well. Looking over to Zielinski, I believe is how you pronounce it. A guy that I don't feel like he's a natural cam. I feel like he's more of a natural center mid. But he looks like a pretty decent card, but nothing outrageous. He grabbed himself two goals, a 9.1 rating. And I feel like Zielinski will probably be that kind of guy that would probably end up being a bit of SBC fodder, if you know what I mean. Moving over to Oliveira. Now, Oliveira has been in Team of the Week predictions like three or four times. And he still hasn't got himself an inform. I don't know what EA have against Oliveira, but he definitely deserves to be in this Team of the Week. Grabbing himself a goal, an assist, and an 8.7 rating to top it off as well. Moving over to Darida. Now, another guy that probably be one of those players that you end up getting in your player picks because he doesn't look anything insane. Let's all be fair, right? Darida, you're not going to get used in majority of people's teams, but that's not what we're, not we're here for. We're here to obviously show who's going to be in Team of the Week, and we're here to obviously show who had amazing performances. And Darida did have one. Two assists with a 9.0 rating to top it off as well. Kimmich is going to be our next player. One goal one assist and an 8.6 rating now it wasn't just him that performed in this game it was also the man himself Lewandowski Lewandowski grabbing himself two goals and a single assist but Kimmich ended up getting a higher rating than Lewandowski so I feel like he will probably grab the team of the week now if you see these players like Kimmich Lewandowski or even a Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo in team of the week the majority that pretty much tells you straight up that team of the year probably won't be for another like two weeks because I really can't see EA placing these players in this team of the week and then ending up you know releasing team of the year the next week I don't feel like that is going to happen but we will see but this Kimmich card looks absolutely ridiculous he's had an inform he's had a team of the group stage card and now he could be on his way to his second in form already looking at our next guy we are going to see Solskjaer now Solskjaer grabbing a late minute winner for obviously West Ham grabbing himself a single goal and an 8.2 rating well obviously growing a man of match performance but look at this card this looks like a very very interesting Premier League CDM because the 83 defending and the 86 physical you already know that's top tier but then you look at a pace and you think to yourself right he definitely without a doubt needs the shadow chem style you put shadow on this card and you might be good to go it all kind of depends on how big of the upgrade really is when ea actually do end up giving this guy a team of the week moving over to tierney now tierney with an amazing performance against west brom obviously you know not the hardest of opponents but he still had a performance and a half one goal one assist and an 8.7 rating Grab grabbing himself a beautiful goal by the way a little cut in from the left side with a right footed banger into the top bins i was kind of surprised i was like hold up a second tierney you got that in the locker okay i see you i see you now he's got himself 90 pace 76 defending with the 84 physicals as well just think about it this guy's already has that pace to his game all he needs is the defending stats if you get this guy's defending stats a little bit higher we could be seeing a very very usable card in that left back position 
in the Premier League. And he could be a card that a lot of people actually slide straight into their team. So moving over to the next guy here, we are going to see Ruffles. Now, Ruffles could be one of the slowest fullbacks I have actually seen. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to actually look at his performance. Two goals, one assist, a 9.1 rating. But the interesting thing about this game was the fact that right back actually ended up getting himself three assists as well. So it could be rather that right back or it could be Ruffles. But I feel like because Ruffles ended up scoring two goals in a left back position, it 100% will be him. So looking at the only centre-back in Team of the Week predictions, we are going to be seeing me. Now, me's the only centre-back in Team of the Week predictions because I feel like he was the only clear-cut one that actually had like a really nice performance. One goal and an 8.2 rating as well. Do I feel like me will be the only centre-back in the actual Team of the Week? Most likely not. They'll probably be, you know, a bit like a bit nice and give it to someone that had like a 7.0 rating or like a 7.5 rating and with like no goals or no assists. But there's no real clear-cut ones. So I don't really want to put any other person in here but moving over to our goalkeeper we are going to see Donnarumma now Donnarumma already has a better card he has the record breaker card which is going to be a little bit hard to beat but it is what it is he grabbed himself five saves with an 8.3 rating and definitely does deserve to be in this team of the week so looking at the other goalkeeper we are going to see Masip now Masip grabbed himself five saves an 8.2 rating with an outstanding performance as well but you might be looking at this keeper and think to yourself right he actually doesn't look too bad 8.5 diving 87 reflexes 8.5 handling with the 80 positioning as well okay he looks like a keeper in a la liga that would be pretty good but then you look at his height and you think to yourself right where did it all go wrong because he is a five foot 11 goalkeeper boys which means being usable in fifa 21 as a 5 foot 11 goalkeeper is most likely not going to happen. We all know who's a really good keeper and who's extremely tall as well. Nick Pope. The guy is 6 7 for God's sake, right? And he's kind of arguably one of the most overpowered in this game. Overpowered keepers in this game. While Masip being 5 foot 11, you can clearly tell he's not going to be that overpowered. If I play this guy, I'm taking long shots. If I get a penalty against this guy, I'm aiming at top bins. It's simple as that. He's not going to be able to reach it. So most likely, I feel like Masip will probably be used as SBC fodder. But heading over to our silver star, we are going to see Dakshi. I believe is how you pronounce him. 78 pace, 80 dribbling and 84 shooting. Not looking like a great silver star, I must say. But he grabbed himself two goals, one assist and a 9.4 rating as well. Another bad thing about this card is the fact that it's not even in the Bundesliga. It's the Bundesliga 2. So it's not going to be that linkable apart from obviously his nationality. But it is what it is. I hope you guys did enjoy the Team of the Week predictions. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.